Howdy folks, welcome to a beautiful afternoon out here in Chetwind. We're on our way back from the Burrefiers in uh, Dawson Creek. Um, taking the long way back to Vancouver, but I want to show you this. So Chetwind is an interesting little town. They have got, it must be hundreds of these carved wooden statues, all done by um, chainsaw. So apparently they have an annual contest every year where people come out and they come carve these statues. I mean, look at this. This is just phenomenal. Now, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to show you all of them. Um, I'll put a bit of a video from the dash cam out here that you see them. They are literally throughout the whole town from where you drive in all the way through. You've got these statues and some of them are super elaborate. <laughs> I mean, this is all carved by chainsaws. Look at this. This is just amazing. And um, I think, I, as far as I understand, these are the new ones from this year's contest. So what happens is every year they have a contest. They just, um, show the new ones and there's winners and blah, blah, blah. And then they move them on further up into the town and they just line the road. There are literally hundreds of these and some of them are so, so awesome. And some of them maybe not so much, but anyway. These ones seem to all be painted though. This New Year's ones. <laughs> Can you imagine? This is all done with chainsaws. This is just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's very very creative some people are just amazing at what they do right and check it is so yeah as I like I said as I understand these are all the New Year's ones um, and then there's the they are everywhere I mean every business in town has them everywhere wherever the eye sees you see these wooden sculptures it's just absolutely stunning. We had to stop here. We were um, wondering about it when we started off initially. Why? How the hell? Where does this all come from? We speculated whether it's a very bored artist living in town or not. <laughs> but anyway, it is, um, it's fantastic. And we got Maggie and Dash coming past. And look at this. Wow, it's just, <coughs> just nuts. The cheetah, look at the cheetah, chasing the war dog. Like I said, some people are just a lot more creative than I am. And the little dancing elephant, and there we are, welcome to Chedwind. So Chetwind is not a very big town, but it seems like quite an interesting town. A town that's very interested in its residents. So it's got all of these things going on, and it's got, from what I understand, a couple of open spaces. And then I see all of the um, something, I don't know if I caught it, but um, on the side of the road, they've got these like flagpole flags. So flags on the la lamp poles or signs showing all of the grade 12s that finished school this year. So they are all being celebrated actually on the main road, on the street. Some of the kids think that's a little bit scary, uh, cringe, as they say, but still, I think it's so cool. Shows a town that cares, right? And there's actually a bunch of South Africans that live here. We met some of them at the festival. Whoa, look at this. Eldest of the ends. I mean, wow. <laughs> that is just, it's phenomenal. Anyway, folks, so this is our quick stop in Chedwind, British Columbia. It's the town just before Dawson Creek. Um, we're going to head out and uh, move on further to Prince George.